It's the end of the day today in beautiful Playa del Carmen, Mexico. And I've been here for a couple of days now. And uh, I just happened to go on to my YouTube channel and check some of the comments and stuff and saw some of the shit was going on. So I had some time at the end of the day to make this. And I just want to say, first of all, to all you people who have stopped by and supported what's going on, I appreciate it. Thank you for the views. Um, for Ian's people that are still coming by, go fuck yourself, guys. Okay? Kiss my ass. <laughs> so, for that being said, I want to give a shout out and a thank you to these two guys, the Hodge Twins, who I didn't really, I'm not a YouTube, big YouTube guy who spends a lot of time watching the movies and stuff on YouTube or the, the videos. But, uh, I, you know, I checked out what you guys are all about because you guys sent some guys over to my channel and uh, you guys made me laugh, man. You guys said some funny shit and uh, I, I can appreciate what you guys are doing and you're doing your thing and you get it across well and you're doing good stuff, guys. So keep it up and keep doing what you're doing. Now, that being said, what I wanted to do is, you know, put up something a little bit about what some of Ian's people are still bitching and complaining and moaning about their... You know, Ian didn't say you uh, you have to do it like this. It's just it's not necessary to eat every couple of hours and still build muscle and et cetera, et cetera. Get, all right, guys, come on. It's time to give me a fucking break, all right? I weigh 240 pounds. I'm in off-season shape. I consider myself fat. I consider myself bloated. I consider myself blocky. This is not optimal to where I'm going to be at or I want to be at, but this is what off-season shape looks like, okay? This is what you got to do in order to grow. You need to eat and you need to eat often. You do not, you cannot, you cannot eat all your calories in one or two or even three meals a day, okay, and still build muscle the way that Ian thinks you can build muscle, okay? I'm going to tell you why. Ian, you're a big science guy, you know, your guys are big science fucking nuts, but what you're losing fact is you're reading studies. Do you really know how the body works? Because I'm going to tell you why, right now, why it's impossible for you to build the type of muscle you're talking about only eating a couple meals a day. Now, your body has enzymes in it. These enzymes break down proteins, they break down carbohydrates, they break down fats. They utilize these macronutrients in order to build muscle, burn fat, revitalize the body, replenish the body, etc. And you only have so much of these enzymes to go around. Now, some people are geared more towards burning glucose, sugar, carbohydrates, etc., whatever you want to call them. Some people process and synthesize the protein a lot faster because they have an enzymatic system for that. Some people have an enzymatic system geared towards burning fat very easily. Now, depending on which one of these enzymatic systems your body is geared towards, you're going to burn those things and turn over those proteins at different rates. Again, you only have so, many, so much of these enzymes to go around. Okay, So if you took in 150 to 350 grams of protein in two meals, your body's not going to be able to break down all that protein and synthesize it into protein. It's not going to be able to. It's going to do what it can in that short amount of time. And when it runs out of those enzymes, it's going to store the rest as fat or it's just going to burn it off. Okay? Carbohydrate-wise, you need water to store the carbs. You need enzymes to break the carbs down to make the blood glucose. If you run out of those enzymes, what do carbohydrates become if they're not burnt and stored as energy? Stored as energy for later. Fat. Yes, Ian fat, okay? So there goes your theory about eating all those carbs at a certain amount of time because you only weigh 170 something pounds. Eating 200 grams of carbs after a fucking workout is going to get you to store fat. It's not going to fucking build muscle and speed up metabolism and store it in the liver and store it in the muscles. It's going to do some of that, but what gets left over is going to be stored as fat. And all the fats you're taking in are not going to be burnt in, okay? Because you don't have enough enzymes to burn down carbohydrates, burn fats, and do all this shit and still build muscle within a couple meals doesn't happen, okay? That's like me saying if I got on the bike or an elliptical or a treadmill or a steer mill and I cranked out three hours straight on that fucking thing, that all I was going to do was burn tons of fat in that amount of time. No, I'm only going to burn a certain amount of fat before my body can't pull that fat fast enough because it runs out of those fat-releasing enzymes and it starts to tear down muscle tissue for amino acids, specific amino acids, to make glucose because you're burning all that muscle. So you can only force the body to do so much at a time, and that's the theory behind why you have to eat often, multiple times, to get those calories in. If you're taking 3,000 calories, it's not going to go all towards building muscle and burning fat, making you a bodybuilder if you eat it at one meal. However, if you eat it spaced out as your body needs it, your body will tell you, I need it, you're hungry, it needs those calories, it needs that protein, it needs those carbs, it'll let you know, then you feed it. 
you now have an optimal situation to feed your body to where it can replenish those enzymes to break down the fats, proteins, and carbs and use them the right way. So your whole theory about the one meal, two meals, whatever the bullshit is, goes right out the window when you actually know how the body works. But the problem is you don't know yet. You read these fucking textbooks and you read these studies, you try to apply it without actually knowing how the body works. Because if you knew those things that I just said, you would know that your whole theory is flawed no matter what the research says. Okay? So like I said, I am here in beautiful Playa del Carmen. I am going to make the follow-up video to the performance enhancing drugs. Um, I did watch the full Lance Armstrong video, which was just awful. I felt that it was sensationalized way more than it had to be. And I've actually gone to a couple of pharmacies so far and seen some of these performance enhancing drugs are readily available. They'll sell them to me. Of course, I would never be able to bring them, nor would I try to bring them back into America because it's illegal. So, you know, while I'm here on the trip, you guys hold tight. I'm going to go ahead and put this video together and talk to, you know, one or two or many of the pharmacists that can um, speak good enough English to talk about some of these things, if they're willing to. And I'm going to get you guys first-hand view, which I know not a lot of people out there can do or are doing, of what these drugs look like, what these drugs do, what drugs are real, what drugs are fake, and what's readily available to you in Mexico, in other countries. Of course, again, disclaimer, I have to put this disclaimer in, it's illegal in the U.S., so don't do any of this stuff in America. So for those of you who have been supporting this YouTube channel, the BioS3 training channel, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. For those of you guys, for Ian's guys, whatever, kiss my ass and go shit yourself. It doesn't really matter. So we'll see you guys soon. Hang in there, and thanks again.